I say, did anyone see the TV show about chickens having antibacterial resistant bacteria? And that we have it too? They say we're dangerous. That we have too many antibacterial drugs pumped into us. It's certainly not our fault. They say we should be cooked to death. That's extreme heat. It sounds dreadful. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm a bit worried. I really dislike negative publicity. I know that humans calm down after a little while and forget about these sorts of things. But it's the interim period that unsettles me. What if they stop eating us for good? Uh, how about you? You at the end, huh? Well, I really don't have an opinion one way or another. I don't have time for this now. I'm having an awful time getting my closets organized. I could care less what they say on TV. What is TV, anyway? Well, I feel a bit under the weather. I can't quite put my beak on it. Stomach upset and a bit of the trots. I think I should see a doctor. Look, they can't stop eating us. What would Moose be without a few of us in the mix? No, I don't believe it for a minute. They can't give up the one thing that binds. Where would angel food cake be without us? What about breakfast, for God's sakes? Fools. You fools. All of you fools, just listen to what you're saying. Is this the only purpose you can envision for yourselves? To be enjoyed by humans? Excuse me, but there must be more to life than to begin as a menstrual cycle and end up cracked and broken in the bottom of some human sink. No, no, I won't have it. Give me life. Give me liberty. God, I would love to be back in the fridge right now. Celsius, Fahrenheit, I don't care. We shouldn't be out of the fridge anyway. Our bacteria is growing wild at these temperatures. Ah, I can feel it. He has a good point, you know. Um, I am not so sure. We all have a place in the scheme of things. I say, know your place and live with it. Anyway, I find it ludicrous that humans are so worked up over a little bacteria, treatable or not. Obviously, they don't realize that over 90% of what they consider human cells are bacteria, and not humans at all. At best, 10% of their cells are in some way unique. I say it's a tempest in a teapot. Balderdash! Just look at us. Sitting here in this carton, all programmed like robots. Like in a damn schoolroom, lined up waiting for the fumbling human hand in the morning. It doesn't matter how much you duck and avoid the hand. Eventually, you'll be chosen. It'll be your turn one day. You're just prolonging the agony. I say no. I say it's time we stood up on our own too, whatever it is we have, and make a stand. Let's get out of here. Live our lives. Let's roll. Ouch. I'm sorry.